Hey guys, welcome back to Classify TV. So today I'm doing a quick video reviewing this diaper bag that I received on my registry. It's called the UFAS diaper bag. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. But this diaper bag has been the current rave. It is that diaper bag with the, um, what do you call that? The bassinet where it opens out. So I'm going to try that today and show you guys what's in it. So I have a few basic items here. They're pretty much what I'm going to normally use to pack my diaper bag for my newborn. I have four children. However, the older three don't really require much other than maybe snacks and a drink or a bottle of water when we go on the road. So this will mainly be for the newborn when she comes. Okay, so the diaper bags that I'm used to are the Jujube diaper bags. I'm a big fan of those. They're much pricier, but I'm in love with the hardware on those diaper bags and how they're easy to wash down or wipe down. And they're just full of space and they're super convenient. But when I saw this, I had to add it to my registry because this had a lot of features that made it super convenient as well. So first, I'm going to look at the overall quality of the diaper backpack and it is pretty durable looking I the material is like a soft I don't want it's kind of like um I don't know how to explain it but I, I really can't explain it maybe it's my pregnancy brain but it it feels like it would be easy to wipe down the hardware is beautiful as you can see and at the back there are some straps where you can hook the backpack to your stroller. So I think that's pretty neat that it comes with these because a lot of diaper backpacks like the Ju Jujubee that I had, you had to buy these hooks separately. So that's pretty convenient. Okay, so I just wanted to insert this clip on how you hook the clips, the, the straps or whatever the hooks to your stroller just pretend this crib is a stroller i am on bed rest so i can't go down to the stroller in the garage right now but this is how you would hook it it's pretty simple you just snap the hooks on around the stroller and voila and here's the other side pretty simple pretty straightforward so yeah just wanted to insert this so you guys could um. see and then it has a little hook up here where you can strap or button the two handles together so you can carry it kind of like this without struggling. So I love the quality of the, what do you call these, the straps. And there's some padding back here that gives your back some support. So I love that. And then we have a few zippers here. So I'm just going to go through all of them while packing the bag so you guys can see how I would pack my diaper bag um, for a newborn as well. So I'm just gonna go through that and pack it and that way we can go over everything and see where there's space and what we can pack in our bag. Okay, so first we have a front zipper right here. So this is the front zipper, the material inside Looks like it's easy to wipe if any spills happen. In here, I would probably put my wallet. So let's see, it fits nice. And I would probably put my mask because it's COVID now. So you gotta stay safe. And I'd probably add the kids' masks too if they were going on the road with me. And we're gonna pretend that this is my phone because I'm actually recording with my phone. So this is where I stick my phone as well. Now this is a remote control, so it's pretty long. So if you have a super big phone, it can fit as well. So that's pretty neat. So in here now, in this front flap, you have a little section for bottles, it looks like. And there's a little, um, plastic section here that looks like maybe you can store wet items or whatever because the the consistency of inside is different than over here and then I like how the bottles also have I don't know if you can see 
these foil inserts or aluminum insert thingies where you can keep your bottles warm or cold. So let's see, I would stack my bottle here. So I am going to be exclusively breastfeeding, but you never know, I'm going to be pumping as well. So um, I wanted to try out this Haka. This is the new Rave also for the first, I'm trying this for the first time. Um, basically, you're supposed to be able to manually express milk without doing much while you're breastfeeding. I'll link below the Haka pump as well. So I thought I'd give this a try. I'm used to the Medela pump back in the day. The last time I had a baby was five years ago, so this is pretty new to me. So let's see if this can fit here as well. Okay, so this can't fit in the... Can it? No, it's too big. So we can't fit that here, so I'll probably have to fit that on the inside, but I tried. So you probably need a small bottle to fit here like this size and then probably in the front I would add like maybe a couple diapers and a pack of wipes to get to quickly so I let me see if I can grab a pack of wipes really quick so here's a pack of wipes I'll just add that in there quickly and other than that, I would probably add a burp cloth right here. So we're going to pretend this is a burp cloth. So I would pack that there. And seems pretty good and easy. So let's see. You also have some storage here at the side. So you could add like an umbrella or a water bottle. I'm going to stick the Haka pump here at the side and see if it fits. And it does. So that's for, oh, actually this is not, this is for wipes. Okay, so you have a section here for wipes as well to put at the side. So if you have like a wipes case, you can stick it down here and then grab the wipes or tissue or whatever you want from here. So that's pretty neat as well. I didn't even notice that. And then over here, you could add your bottle or umbrella. And I guess you could add the bottle there as well. Let's see. So that's pretty neat. And then you have a little side zipper back here. So you can probably add like an iPad. Seems like it's big enough for an iPad or a notebook. I'd probably add like the kids' tablets or a tablet for the baby when she gets older. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's check out the inside. So this front zipper here goes to the inside, I believe. Yep. And here is the charging USB cord. So this you would plug into the wall to charge the backpack. So I'm going to try to test it out and um, I'm recording with my phone, so I'll try to test it out later and insert a clip on how that works. Okay, so my son assisted me here. I tried to charge it on the bag at first, but it didn't charge. So I'm guessing I did not charge the bag enough because when we plugged it into the wall, it did seem to charge. So it just needed a little more power. So it does work. And record it with something else, but this is where you would charge the backpack and then you would plug your phone's USB into that little side port I showed you earlier. So I, I, the only reason I know about this is because I had a office bag that did the same thing. So when I saw it, I was like, okay, I know that. I know how to use that. So you have some deep inserts inside here. So you could add bottles. Let me turn around so you can see. You could add bottles in here. And the bag is pretty deep. You have two zippers right here and it goes all the way down. So the way I do this, I have a itsy ritzy bag here and I kind of reviewed these in my what's in my hospital bag, um, bed rest edition. So I'll show a clip of that. But 
or I'll insert the video down below so you can check it out. Um, but I love these packing cubes despite sometimes the zippers unhook, but either way, I have baby's extra clothes in here and you can add whatever you want. So let's see, I would stick this down in here and then this, for right now, I have uh, all of the samples that I got, the mini sample bottles and, and things. So this is what I would keep in here, like little toiletries, lotions, whatever extra things I need, diaper rash cream, medications. So let's stick that in here. And then this would be like smaller things, like probably things for me like makeup if i have an extra phone charger or my ear pods i'd add that in here right now i have like a lysol spray my nipple balm and some extra masks so that fits perfectly as well so they all fit and then i have a little pacifier here so me i'd probably have either like a pacifier clip there's this little string in here now this string is normally for car keys but maybe i could attach the pacifier to this or maybe not but if not i'd usually just throw this somewhere in the front where it's easy to reach i'll probably have this in like a pacifier case so i'd either clip the pacifier case to this along with my keys or have it clipped somewhere on the outside, but we'll just throw that in for there. And then here are my car keys. So I will clip this on and it seems pretty durable as well. Whoops, I'm going out of the camera. So there, so that way when I need to get to my keys, I can just grab it out of here and I have my ear pods attached right here actually. So that's pretty cool as well. So that's what I have for now. So it fits a lot of stuff. Now, if any of you new moms are interested on what you'd pack for a newborn, this is basically what I'd pack. There's not much else that you need. I'd probably add more diapers here and maybe another pack of wipes here, or again, you can add it on this side. Um, and that's oh there's also a side pocket in here as well so that's pretty much what i'd add for a newborn you don't really need much so i love how this is compact maybe i'd add like an extra blanket or extra burp cloth and that's it you need diapers wipes burp cloths um little lotions or diaper rash cream and pacifier or two extra clothes that's pretty much it and a bottle if you're bottle feeding for me it would only be in case of emergencies or if like my husband or grandma is with me and they want to feed baby as well or if the kids want to feed baby or if i just want to break and i probably also have like a shawl some type of apparatus to feed the baby so let's get to the fun part now this bassinet that everyone's talking about Okay, so I'm just gonna go back further. So basically here, I unzip to the back and this zipper goes all the way around. So you zip all the way around and pull this out. So what comes in here is this changing pad. So there's like a mesh side and then there's like a flat side. And then it has like a little pocket back here so this you can just take this out so this is probably so that you can take this off and wash the changing pad but, so that's that and then you have these little magnetic rods that just well i don't know if they're magnetic but they just snap into place like that and what you want to do is all right so the camera cut out so as i was saying you Put this other side in here and just fill it up. And then I'm gonna take this one and put it on this side. And once you get this in, then you're going to add the changing pad cover and 
for the changing pad and voila you've got a little bassinet and you can take baby and put them in to sleep or you can change them so pretty pretty cool so to take this apart a lot of people do this crisscross method i don't have time for all of that i'm just going to pull them out and stick the rods in i don't know about that crisscross folding method but these snap back into two you could fold this back up and then fold this back up and now i was playing with this earlier and the only thing I don't like is zipping it back up is a little complicated. So I would zip it back up before putting the rods in, but basically you snap these zippers into place. So there's a part that separates right here when you open out the bassinet part. So you just snap that back, flip it around. So it's almost zipped up and then put this and these in so yeah that is the diaper bag let me know what you guys think i will put my link down below with a code to get it on amazon and um i'll also link the itsy ritzy packing cubes for you guys as well if you're interested so yeah that's pretty much it so the bag seems pretty legit these are giving me issues now, but it seems pretty durable. I love how you can clip this right here. I love how you can charge it. I love how you have space for baby. And I love how it automatically... I was saying, I love how it automatically comes with the stroller straps. Okay, so now for some bonus content. So I did a video previously on freebie packages that I got from registering for baby registries. So this is the package that I was missing in that last video. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it below so you can go ahead and watch it. But I had some um, freebie boxes that I received from creating registries. And this is the Walmart box that I did not yet receive. Didn't know if I was getting it, but here it is. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. All right, so now let's unbox this Walmart welcome box. So I'm gonna just open it up for you. So you can see the Walmart logo all over it. It comes wrapped in the plastic in this cute little box. And let's see how you open it. Okay, so just like the others but oh i like it. this comes with the diapers we saw that before but wow pantene dry shampoo i needed that what is this smooth performer sulfate free shampoo little samples wipes the teething um relief by for painful gums by camilla we saw that before and I love how it comes with a little pacifier, so that's cute. For some reason, everyone wants to call me while I'm recording. So also, you get these Smarty Pants um, prenatal samples. So I always wanted to try those prenatals. Some more Aquaphor, Dove Lotion, and then it looks like some little coupons for all the products that we got. So that's awesome. And the box is super cute, guys. Oh, and then you get a little envelope here. Let's see what's in here. And it says, special delivery, a bundle of joy for you and your little one. So that's awesome. This is super cute. Okay, Walmart. Okay. And this is a little, oh, little cards for the baby. Okay, I think... I need you guys to go and watch my freebies video and compare the other things that I opened to this Walmart box because Walmart, you guys did your thing. So I'm super excited that I finally got this in the mail. This is so cute with the little months. I can take pictures with the baby. I'm so excited for this. And yeah, so that's pretty much it. You guys got a review of the, of the, um, 
diaper backpack with the bassinet. I'm so excited to use it when baby comes. You got a little glimpse of these freebies from Walmart. And yeah, check out the freebie video. I have instructions on how to receive this gift box for your baby in that freebie um, video. I'll link it down below. I'll also link the affiliate links to go to Amazon for the diaper bag and the Itsy Ritzy packing cubes. And if you want information on anything else posted in this video, leave a comment below and let me know. If you're new here, be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you never miss any new content. And love you guys. Talk to you later. Bye.